it's Tom here and today we are going to be looking at the first Doctor um, Enemies of the First Doctor Doctor Who set which is the box to show you as, as I've already boxed it so inside this box set we do have the Rover Men from the Dalek Invasion of Earth we also have a Dalek as well which is from the Daleks Master Plan which comes with the, the flame weapon but also we have a, a Mondasian Cyberman from the 10th planet, William Hartnell's final adventure as the Doctor. So let's start off with the Cyberman figure here, which is absolutely gorgeous. The, the highly detail on this figure is absolutely beautiful. These are actually my favorite um, versions of the Cyberman and, and that's kind of why I absolutely adored World Enough in Time, the Doctor Fools, um, being able to see these version of the, the Cyberman again. Um, they're just really, really creepy. The um, the design is just creepy as hell. Especially got the um, the hands or the gloves, and some of them. Also, the front with the, um, the design is just makes these just look really, really cool and unique. Whereas over time, as the Cyberman evolved, they become less human and in my opinion, less creepy. Um, but I also do like the Tomb of the Cyberman versions as well and the ones from Patrick Troughton's time as well. I'm not really too keen on the designs of um, the Russell T. Davis era or the Iron Man ones from the Stephen Moffat era. But I really like the Chris Chibnall ones because they were kind of reminding me of the 80s Cyberman as well. So they were kind of had a, a little bit of an upgrade the spikes looked cool um so yeah i really like the mondasian cyberman figure i i which will go from my 60s um part of my shelf which i will show once it's all up and running so yeah that's the mondasian cyberman from the 10th planet now next up we have the the dalek from the dalek's master plan i've put the flame in which it just pulls out i mean he's putting it back in like that now this dalek is my one of my absolute favorites i love the 60 daleks so much um i could go on about them all day literally listing reasons why i love them um you just can't beat the first ever dalek stories um just the idea of um these evil beings that are in these kind of stuff it's just so iconic you can't imagine Doctor Who without the Daleks so it's kind of an epic kind of figure to have and it's gorgeous and the colours are beautiful as well so yeah that's the Dalek now we have from another Dalek story um, from the Dalek Invasion of Earth, Susan's last story where Karan Ford's character leaves. So here's a Robo Man, which is pretty damn cool. Um, so the arms move up like that, you can't move them. Some of them, this one's actually quite stiff. So you wanna, there we go. Legs move like that, but it's quite restricted as well. Colouring the colour on it's brilliant as well, and overall the the figures that you do get in this set um, are really really good. Um, if you can get one for a decent price, I know these go for a lot on eBay. I highly recommend, especially if you're a fan of sixties um, who or the William Hartnell era or the Patrick Charlton era, then I highly recommend that you get this set. Anyway, like, comment and subscribe. Hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you very much. Bye.